All right, Daniel, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Hang on. I'm trying to. I really don't like your start position. It looks really awkward because you get sort of like hunched over and you're real loose. I'd like you to be a little bit taller in that start where that, that left arm's a little more loose. The right shoulder gets back a little bit more. Okay, so on this throw, that heels up, heels down on this throw. We gotta get consistent with that, okay? Almost identical here, left knee, left knee. Decent positions there. A little more dorsiflex than this throw on the left. little more collapsed in the middle there and you're a little bit longer with that right this throw the right shorter and you're a little more upright left arm's pretty similar right right or left leg here is moving a little bit quicker okay And if we see that, again, that right's down a little earlier, so the left's a little bit past, whereas this left's just a little bit forward. Not much, but just a, a hair. Left arm staying back on you, though, better on that throw. This left arm's back, or open just a little more. Starting to get lean. Look at those veins. Here, the left's deeper, or uh, left's blocking you off there quite a bit. Left's deeper here, getting to a left heel. One thing I think is that that left hip, I'd like that left hip to be more open at the front while the shoulder's back. So you tend to have it so that your hip is almost facing directly to 90 degrees, and I'd like it facing this way with the shoulders back a little bit more. But if you see here, right away you're starting to extend up off of that left. Okay, you're sitting on it a little bit better on this throw. But you really come off quite a bit more on the, the throw on the right than you do on the throw on the left. The throw on the right, you're jumping pretty early here. I'm really lunging at it. Instead of thinking, let that hip be open, that left hip open, sit on that left heel. Left hip open, sit on the heel. And then rotate a long right shoulder. Okay. So I think the big key here with the foul is just that, again, you're a little more dorsiflexed here. The right comes down better. Okay. Left is a little bit faster. And because it's faster, it's deeper, this one, the left blocks you off. But the big thing here is I'd like, I think this throw on the right could be 1750 to 18 if you stay down on that left side and don't lunge so much at the finish. Still good throw, though.